Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Here we are off the strip. Yes, yes. We have an exciting off strip eats episode for yes. you today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start out here at McMullen's. Yes. Now, usually when you think of Irish restaurants, only two come to mind. Mm -hmm. Re Raw and what? And um, nine, nine Fine Irishmen. Yeah, that's it. No yeah. one really talks about McMullen's. No, no. And plus because Re Raw and Nine Fine Irishmen are on the strip, mm -hmm. maybe that's why. Um, but we're going to go off strip, start this one here. Um, highly recommended, highly recommended for the um, Fish and the chips. Fish and chips. Yeah. The fish and chips. And the breakfast. So we're actually here for breakfast. Yes. I'm excited. I am too. Let's try it out. This is kind of cool. This open 24 7. That's right. And they have some specials here. Look at that. Oh, you can eat fish and chips. And Sunday, bucks. the traditional Irish roast. Wow. We never got that when we're in no, Ireland. No, we didn't. We didn't. But they're. The menu is right outside and it is expansive. It looks really, really amazing. Yeah, it does. But uh, we're going to check it out. Let's go. It's a cool, cool place. This is the restaurant side, but we're going to eat at the bar side because it's a bit lighter. It's yeah, dark it in here. Yeah, it is very dark, but it's very cool. Look yeah, at that. It's really cool. Check out the breakfast menu. They got a lot of things, but they have a uh, traditional Irish breakfast right there. And you could add some Heinz beans for a couple bucks, uh, as well as some omelets. So yeah, they have a pretty good looking menu right here. And you know what, the, the, this is Guinness. You know, we're, we're gonna have to get some for our, for our breakfast. Yeah, it's uh, five o'clock somewhere, right? Maybe in Ireland. Could be. What's interesting here is I had always thought this is like a gambling hall, like the ones that are off strip, like um, Dotties and, and those things, more of the gambling side. This is really a food restaurant pub place. Not much gambling. The gambling is really on the bar tops here, but that's it. Everything else is restaurant, which is completely shocked to me. Yeah, which is right here. Yeah. Right? So this whole area is just tabletop. Uh, games, mm -hmm. right? But this is a whole restaurant. It's like it's, and it feels like it's direct out of Ireland. We just got our Guinnesses. We did. Slanche, eh? Slanche. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A nice breakfast beer. That is delicious. It's been a while since we had a good Guinness, it, right? It has, it has, and it just like brings me back to Ireland. Oh, I know. This bar here, which feels so authentic, plus a beer in the morning. This is Ir this is Ireland right here, baby. Yeah, well, wait till we get our food. Mm -hmm. I got the house-made corned beef with the country potatoes. Try out this corned beef. Wow, it looks amazing. It is lovely. Those bits of fat that's in the corned beef. It really tastes like they got the corned beef, they shredded it, and then they put it on the flat type, flat top to crisp it. House potatoes. Mm hmm. Rye bread. This is a perfect. Irish breakfast. Yeah, plus you got two eggs any style and mm -hmm. you got over easy. This is amazing. Went with the traditional Irish breakfast. Look at that. I splurged, got extra two dollars for the Heights beans right here. Try it out. That is good. Very hot in temperature. Delicious. Of course, with this breakfast, it comes with the with the house-made brown bread. Put some butter on it already. Wow, look at that. How does it taste, babe? It's a hearty, very hearty bread. Like the ones we got in Ireland, huh? No, almost. The ones we had in Ireland had a lot of, um, what, like a lot of oats and, mm -hmm. and stuff in it. This is pretty, like, seedless, but great flavor on that bread. Of course, got the black and white pudding, and the ham, and the sausage over here. 
Well, let's try this out. I remember I really like this white pudding. Here we go. It's the same. Legit. It, it really tastes like it tastes like a mild sausage. That's what it tastes like. I remember the black one was just as good. And I believe this is almost like a blood sausage, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, interesting. A different flavor profile. A little bit spicy. But trust me, it has no iron flavor at all. It's delicious as well. Yeah, I love those sausages. A little wrap up of uh, McMullen. That was delicious. Wow. I yeah. wasn't expecting it. Again, I we see this every single time we stay at the Orleans. Right across the street, I'm always thinking it's a small little more gambling than food establishment. This is a full legit restaurant yeah. with a little bit of gambling. Right. And just like you mentioned, it is directly across the street from the Orleans Hotel Casino. Mm -hmm. And uh, our servers said that this is a third generation owned restaurant. Yes. The gentleman who helped or who owns this restaurant is the one that helped for the 95 man, Irishman. That's right. The one in, uh, on the strip. Yeah. So yeah. definitely, and if you guys are in the mood for some legit uh, Irish breakfast. Now, I'm sure their lunch and dinner is just as good. Yes. Check this place out. And our Ireland Ohana. You're going to like this place. Yeah. You're going to like it. Let us know what you thought about the about the breakfast that we showed. Yeah. And sorry, locals. Just getting the word out. This is a big stop for football. British I mean, soccer. That's Not right. Soccer. Soccer. Yeah. In football. fact, uh, later today, Manchester United's playing. <laughs> yes. And so she said it's going to be slammed here. Yeah. I, I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. Yes. So if, if there's any even uh, tourists that really enjoy soccer, this is the place to be. Yes, for sure. So, so uh, stay tuned. We have a couple more off street uh, mm -hmm. treats coming. Yes. Off strip. Yes. Off strip. I'm playing pennies now. And I'm playing 10 hands. At a dollar a bet, dealt me four queens plus the nine multiplier. Wow. Yeah, so let's see how much it is. Not bad, huh, baby? Yeah, do it. It's still counting out, babe. Oh, it's it's counting? almost done. So it's like over oh, uh, $200 right there. Yeah. Still counting. Let's see. That's a, that's a major award. That's a major award. Oh, I did. 225 bucks. Yeah, not bad on pennies, baby. Sweet. At a dollar per hand, uh, like not even a dollar per hand, a dollar per game. So this whole game is a dollar and I went 225 bucks. Hey, not bad. Yeah. Here it is. Good job, babe. Thank you, babe. We are here for lunch. The sun's in my eyes. Uh, oh, sorry, babe. How about this? Okay, it's better. So, uh, where are we today? And today we're at Dragon Tiger. That is Jet Tila's. He's big Food Network dude. Yes, uh, he, celebrity chef. Yes, this uh, is one of his three locations. Here's his picture in case you don't know who Jet Tila mm -hmm. is. Yeah, so uh, he has an uh, uh, Asian noodle place. Yes. And they have like Japanese, Chinese, Vietnamese All different noodle types. dishes, mm -hmm. including rice. And I've been wanting to try this for such a long time. So I'm glad we are here to try it out, babe. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be really good. I know, I'm ready. Let's do it. When you come in, you can, they have pre-built bowls or you can customize them. They're right up here. Yes, so kind of pick your noodles and uh, your protein, your veggies, and your toppings and any extras. Yeah, there we go, looks pretty good. These are the types of broths they offer. And what's cool is you get it on a tap, one of the beer taps. They're not making any right now, but this is how they can make their noodles with this machine right here. Yeah, all made in house. Yes. Yeah. Too bad they're not making it. It'd be pretty cool to see. Once you come into the store, they have all the bowls, or actually 
all the ingredients listed and you can customize your bowls or online they have a list of pre-made bowls and so we got four pre-made bowls and then we took out the peppers in the ones that came with peppers but these are all done online you can find the bowls online so i have my cheat sheet the online menu and we got the tonkatsu ramen which is house made ramen noodles rich pork broth braised pork belly bamboo shoots scallions nori egg and supposedly chili pepper but we took out the chili pepper then you got the hokkaido beef it's more like a pho rice noodles beef broth thinly sliced beef scallions cilantro red onion bean sprouts basil and a lime on the side this one here which we thought it was kind of interesting we never tried this before the chinese chicken noodle soup the chinese chicken noodle soup is udon noodles char grilled chicken bok choy carrots mushrooms and scallion and then we also have they have a plant-based one we didn't get the plant-based one and they also have rice bowls and this is our one rice bowl right here which is the Thai yum infused rice with tofu, furukake, gochu gochu sauce, and scallion. So these look delicious. We ordered some wings, which take about 10 15 minutes to make, and we're just waiting for those to come out as well. All right, I'm gonna first try out this tonkotsu ramen. Let's try out this broth. Yeah, it's supposed to be rich pork bone broth. So, mm. how is it? That's a delicious broth. It's not Lee, not Lee. It's not overpowering at all. I know sometimes we get tonkotsu broth and it's kind of overpowering. This one's delicious. Get that great porky flavor. We're gonna go ahead and try out these noodles. And you here know, just, just to keep note again, that all of these noodles are made in the house. They are. Let's get some noodles right here. Mm. These noodles, great bounce to them with this broth with some bamboo shoot. This is very well balanced. Mm -hmm. Great, great pork flavor with the pork belly. Here we go. I'm excited to try this this beef. Uh, I, they call it Hokkaido what, beef or something, mm -hmm. but essentially it's fun. Let's try out the uh, soup base. See how it is. It's pretty legit. It has that great that beef uh, broth flavor to it. Yeah, very good. In fact, with that little lime wedge that they give, time to hit it up with a little lime to brighten it up. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we usually do when we order the, uh, the pho. So mix this up just a little bit. Nice bean sprouts and the rice noodles. Oh yeah. Here we go. It's good stuff. It tastes just like you're at a regular pho restaurant. Even the rare beef, nice and tender. Soaks up a lot of that beef broth flavor to it. And they already put the basils on it. Again, you could customize these bowls any way you want. In case you don't want the basil or the onion or anything, you could, pay it, you could tailor it the way, uh, the way you want. Like we took out the pepper. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the chicken noodle one. This one has the udon noodles, so it's the fatter noodles and good pieces of chicken in here. Let's go ahead and try out this broth. Oh wow, this is a very, very rich tasting broth. Rich in meaning the flavors are completely there. You can taste the herbs in there, you can taste the veggies in there. Very clean tasting. Not like a chicken noodle soup that you would get like from a, like a like a cat's deli, I guess, or, or a deli. It's um, definitely not that type of chicken noodle soup. Then we're gonna try those udon noodles with it. Mm. 
And this matches perfectly. Those chicken little bits in there. Oh yeah. Um this bok choy. This is this is a winner. Oh yeah, if you want something to fill your belly, not too heavy. This chicken soup is amazing. Wow. This is the Thai Yum Infused Rice Bowl. This is meatless by design. It comes with grilled tofu. Again, you could substitute this tofu with chicken or any other protein that they have. Let's try it out. I'm curious how this uh, sauce is. It probably like uh, maybe some gochujang sauce. Maybe yeah, it's called a goju goju sauce. Yeah, or some uh, sriracha. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it out. A little bit of heat. It's it's kind of growing though, but it's not too hot where you you can't tolerate it. Of course, you know we're not very spicy hot sauce people and if you eat this with the rice it's it's doable let's try some of this tofu real tofu is delicious it's one, it's one of the best tofus I've had what yeah I'll tell you why it's got the grill marks it is grilled with a little bit of that that gogu chan type of sauce on it so really, the grill flavor of of the tofu really comes through. I, I never had grilled tofu like this before. These wings are offered hot or mild. We said we wanted the mild one. They're they're fresh. They're nice and crispy. Then we had to wait for them about 10, 15 minutes or so. Yeah, uh, you could also oh. get you see the five piece or twenty. Right, right? five, okay. ten, or twenty. Okay. So you can see how it's steaming in there. Explicitating complete juiciness. Really good crunchy wound. And try to see. Great batter on this good fried chicken. The wing itself, as naked as this is, there's no heat to it. So if you get a naked wing, there's no heat. It's all about the sauce. That could be a little bit more spice. These wings are delicious, just naked, just like this. But I'm gonna go ahead and dip this one into a little bit of that sauce. There we go. That's a delicious wing. Nice and crunchy. To me, it's a little bit on the salty side. Other than that, that's a delicious wing. I love the crunch on these wings. That's a wrap of my Dragon Tiger Noodle Company. Yeah, it was delicious. You know, which one was your favorite? Your favorite I yeah. like the chicken noodle. Oh, the Chinese one? The Chinese chicken noodle. That was really good. I, Something a little bit different. I think I did the Chinese uh, partial. <laughs> well, what was your favorite? The ramen? Mm-hmm. I don't need to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> but really, you couldn't go wrong with all four bowls that we had. They, mm -hmm. they all tasted very different from each other. They did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I like is that, say, if you're in the mood for a ramen, but not the other party is in the mood for a ramen, you can come here, you can get your ramen, you can get your udon, you can get uh, your Thai, you can get your um, a Vietnamese, which is your right. pho. You can get it all in one place instead of going to a place that only serves fire, a place that only serves ramen or anything like that. And if One you're not stop. into noodles, they got rice. You could yeah. substitute rice with any of those other toppings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, we, we recommend this place. I recommend it. Yeah. It's very so good. So they have three locations throughout Vegas. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, our, of course, the addresses that we visited are in the description below. Mm -hmm. So we have one more place tonight for dinner. Mm -hmm. So that should be fun. Show yeah. something else here. Oh, this place, at least the one on Rainbow, is cashless. Okay. So just a heads up. It's cashless. Um, is there anything else? The, the pre-made bowls, don't forget, they're online. That when you come in, you can customize your bowl and there's no sign for a pre-made bowl. Just look online and, and, and pick one of the pre-made bowls and they have a list of what those are in it. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what we did. Yeah. Oh, and so now what you were saying, baby, we have another place later today? For dinner. It's somewhere different for us. Yes. So we're looking forward to it. Yes, and it's off strip again. Yes. Mm -hmm.
We made it to our dinner spot. We did. Yeah, we are here at Sapporo Revolving Sushi. Yes, yeah, so it's on Spring Mountain, so it's in Chinatown. Yeah, I think they have a couple locations, right? They do, like the three Sapporo. or four. Yeah. yeah, so we've never been to a, like, I'm thinking like a conveyor belt sushi here in Vegas. No, we haven't. Yeah, yet. first time, mm -hmm. right? This one gets four and a half stars, mm -hmm. and uh, we're, I'm excited. We saw some videos on it already, and so I'm excited to go try it out. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Let's go. So other than being extremely cool with the conveyor belt and you just pull what you need, you know it's pretty well rotated. So if you don't see what you want here, they have an iPad here. You order what you need, whatever you don't see on the conveyor belt, and it comes in this upper portion. Oh yeah. So it'll be custom delivered right to our table. Custom delivered. So we're yeah. going to look at and see what we like. They have dishes besides sushi, which almost is like mains. I mean, they have the prices. Like, here's the bronzino. That ribeye. Look at that ribeye. They even have black cod and scallop. So I think we're going to get one or two of those. We'll see what else they have here. It's going to be yummy. So we did pick out the three that we pointed out, and now we're going to send it. We are. Right? Is that the speed button? Place order. Yep. That's it. There you go. So now we're going to wait. Yep. Alrighty. I have my salmon here. Let's give it a little bit of dip in my yeah, soy. Yeah, that's really good. It does. Have my little wasabi in my soy. Mmm. Mm, delicious. You can really taste that salmon flavor. Hit it up with that little bit of wasabi. Wow. Yeah. So far, we're off to a good start. What's really nice is the salmon. It's a giant piece of salmon. And the rice is so small. I yeah, love that's, it. That's good, right? Mm -hmm. And we also got some Inari sushi, which is like the, uh, the, the the footballs, we call it. Uh -huh. And some uh, little caterpillar yep, right we're, here. We're going we're gonna to start with these because we placed an order. So we're going to wait for our order to come out. It should come out on this up here. From the kitchen, we got three items. This is one, the first one. Grilled scallop with mango, pest, with mango salsa. Let's try it. This green stuff it tastes like a, a pureed seaweed. Let's go ahead and try this scallop with this salsa. We'll put some of this salsa on the scallop. Here we go. Cheers. Mm, mm. Perfectly grilled scallop. The salsa is very fresh. Good pieces of mango. Very simple. There's no other added sauce other than mango and onions. Let's try some of this salsa. I can't even pick anything up. Mm -hmm. Mango and onions, delicious. Scallop, nice and fresh, perfectly grilled. That butteriness, that natural butteriness taste of that scallop, that char right on top. Wow, this is excellent. This is the grilled Branzino. So we figured out all the grilled items come to your table by one of the servers and all of the sushi items come on the little conveyor belt on top. This is a caramel puree and caramel, a carrot puree along with this Branzino. Wow. The top of this Branzino. It's crispy. Who doesn't like crispy fish skin? That is absolutely delicious. This carrot puree has a little bit of sweetness to it. it has a little bit of microgreens here. Oh yeah, this is delicious. You're not a big fish person, baby, but you're gonna love this one. Oh yeah, give it a try. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh. Thank you. Please collect your That's a that's this a black is the cod. Black cod. This is beautiful. Oh yeah, look at that. There you go, babe. I absolutely adore black cod. This is black cod right here. Very nicely crisp up. Oh my gosh, look at that. Did you see? All those juices flowing out on that side, baby. Can oh, you yeah. tell? Can you tell? Yeah, yeah, I can see those juices flowing, yeah. baby. Those juices, man. I love it when juices flow. Go ahead. And this is a big bite, but it's going to be a well worth bite. This normally, did you see that drip? 
Did you see it? It like drips. Like it. It's it's all okay. that nice fish oil. Again. Oh gosh. Cheers. Mm. Oh, something else came. Please Thank you. Please collect your food. Thank you. Please collect your food. Thank you. Oh, that's it. Oh, these are the uh, salmon skin hand rolls that we ordered. Wow. Beautiful. Here we go, salmon skin hand roll. One of my favorite hand rolls, almost every sushi place that we go to, we always end up ordering one of these. Here we go. It already has some little bit of that sauce on it, so I don't think I need any uh, show you. Here we go. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. They put a lot of salmon skin inside of here, and with that glaze, with the avocado, the cucumbers, everything matches perfectly. A great salmon skin roll. In fact, I hardly had any bad salmon skin rolls. I, I love them all. This one included. Okay. <laughs> oh, first of all, what's interesting is you see this conveyor belt, and it's busy here, so this fish rotates out, or the conveyor belt items rotate out just naturally but if you're still wondering hmm, I wonder if it's been sitting there for a while they have the same options here on this pad that can be delivered to you so if you're looking for a basic roll they have the bigger size rolls or even the, the, the same thing that they have on this conveyor belt is here and you can order it from here same price and it is fresh so if yeah. that was anything that you were considering. And, and you know what? A lot of items here, they really don't sit too long. They kind of rotate it out. So if you, it. if you miss it, then order it here. Right, right. And it's the same price whether you order it from the iPad or, from, or get it from the conveyor belt. I got to try it. This is a miso creme brulee. Something completely different. Let's see what this tastes like. It's very thinly done. It, it's not, you can see the ramekin, it's not fully packed in this ramekin. It's creamy. Do I taste the miso? I do taste the miso, how interesting. I like it. You know how creme brulees are usually very custardy? and very vanilla-y. You can taste the slight bit of miso in here with this little toasted sugar on top. Sweet uh, tea ice cream? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. This is delicious. Wow. Oh yeah. It's as interesting. It is delicious. I like this one. What do you get for dessert when you come to a sushi place? You always have to get the green tea ice cream. Good size order. Yes, it is. Three scoops. Let's try it out. Very cold. Creamy, great green tea flavor to it. Not overly sweet. Sometimes you can get green tea ice creams that are, that are really sweet. But this one has a has a light sweetness to it and again great green tea flavor so our last dessert our capper for our meal is the honey toast so this is looks like lovely vanilla ice cream right on top with some chocolate syrup and some caramel syrup on top of a toasted bread usually we're used to them carving out the center this one they didn't carve out the center but doesn't this look delicious? Don't you want to dig into this with us? Yeah, Let's go ahead and dig I on do. it. Oh yeah. It, it smells uh, really good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna first try out this ice cream. Yes, I'm cutting ice cream with a knife. Here. Mm. That's yeah. delicious. Let's go ahead and cut into this honey toast. They have it actually, as if you can see, these honey toast is cut into cubes. Look at that steam that's coming out of there. So I'm gonna get this first cube. Here we go. Put it with this ice cream. And this is gonna be a big bite, but you know you gotta do it. 
Look at that. Anybody want a bite? I know you do. That honey toast is griddled right on top. So you can see here the little griddle of it. They put it on that flat top. It's a very regular bread. I believe it's like white bread that they use for this. Just regular bread because you have all of this savory goodness on top. It's perfect. It's I know, really good. To a lot of people, ice cream and bread might, may seem weird. Yeah. This is really a very good shareable dish. As you can see, this is streaming to be shared. That wraps up our weekend here in Vegas. It does. And over there at the Sapporo Sushi. Yeah, look how pretty the sky looks. Yeah, beautiful. It's pretty. Right? Yeah, that yeah. Sapporo Sushi is yeah, legit. Revolving. Yeah, what do you yeah. think about it? It's legit, baby. We met a few, actually, we met a few viewers in here mm -hmm. that watch our videos, and they said out of all of the revolving sushi places they've tried here in Vegas, this one is top notch. This is one of their favorites. Yeah, it is. It is. So we're lucky because among yeah. all of them, we, we just randomly picked the Sapporo we because, did. because mm -hmm. of the reviews. Yes. Yeah, so it was very good. It was very good. That creme brulee, wow, it really took me by surprise. The miso creme brulee. What I think what took me by surprise is that that sweetness was counteracted with that saltiness so it made it very savory you ever had a savory creme brulee you'll get it here it was absolutely divine i'd come back just to get that it was very good yeah yeah some of the standouts for me was that black cod and a brinzino right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very good really very good, good. Yeah, yeah this the food is very good here what's really nice is that ipad where you order your food it's giving you a running total except for the place that you grab off of the conveyor belt which are added later. It's kind of giving you a running total of how much you're spending. And so if you're ever wondering like, oh my gosh, I pulled so many plates off. I've ordered so much food. It has a running total there. So it's easy to follow. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we recommend the uh, support. We yeah. do. We do. I'm yeah. so glad that we found this place. Babe. Yeah. 70 shout outs, babe. I do. I do. I have a few. And Neve, happy birthday. Rick, happy birthday. And Camille, happy birthday. Thank you to everyone who's seen us at the Orleans here at Sapporo Sushi and Grill oh, yeah. or a Revolving Sushi. Um, I think, what did we else did we go? We went somewhere else. Um, and the um, Paris yesterday. I can't my brain. Yes, Paris. Uh, yeah. uh, Paris yesterday. Just uh, thank you to everybody who's saying hi to us, stopping yeah. us for pictures and stuff like that. We all we love it all. Oh yeah, very fun trip. Yes, especially uh, this video. We have a great mixture of. What uh, Irish breakfast, yes, right uh -huh. to uh, to our lunch at at the, the dragon, dragon tiger, mm -hmm. yeah, tiger dragon. Mm -hmm. Wow, and then uh, cap it off with sushi. Yeah, and I, I love this whole trip. We went a little bit on strip and a little bit off strip. We really listened, or we really talked to the locals, and we went to the local spots. I know I have a lot of Vegas Ohana up here that come to visit me even at work, and so. Uh, these are the, some of the local spots that they like to go to, babe. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. That wraps it up for Las Vegas. Next week's going to be a new adventure. Yes. So until that one, we'll catch you guys on the next one.